Hey everyone, I just read this book, um, Elon Musk by Ashley Vance, and uh, what a great read. Parts of this book is going to make you love Elon Musk even more, and parts of it will probably make you leave you with a sour taste in your mouth. But I'll, I'll use a 3 2 1 formula um, from Toastmaster to review this book. Um, so, three things that I liked about it um, it's a fast moving book, so it's not boring. Three, um, it, it really gives you a, a good insight into Elon Musk and it makes you more, more curious about how his mind works, especially um, some of the critical aspects. So he, he's not just being praised throughout the book. Um, and then number three, I would say it's, um, it really is held well together because there's some insights onto his personal life as well as his professional life. Of course, most people know Elon Musk as the founder of um, SpaceX and uh, Solar City, as well as Tesla. And what was interesting was some of the disputes that people had about whether he can claim um, founder status uh, for Tesla because he wasn't, uh, in fact, the original uh, pers uh, team, part of the original team. He came on more as an investor after the company was already started. Anyway, two things that's uh, not good about the book, um, room for improvement. I would say that um, uh, it does lack a bit of insight into him, his personal life more. There's very little about his children. Um, there is a little bit about his, um, his two ex-wives, um, but it's, 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 it's sort of like a leftover pieces. So um, there's no... Uh, it, the author can do a better job at, at giving some insights into his um, family relationships. I suppose he could have done that up front. A little bit was written about the mother and father and his uh, brother and sister that he grew up with in South Africa before he moved to Canada. Um, but the two times that his uh, ex-wives are mentioned, they are quoted a little bit here and there as well, but it's, it's sort of like, as I said, an afterthought. Um, so one gets the impression that he's this workaholic work, you know, machine. And, um, when you read the, towards the end of the book, one of the chapters mentions how he let go or fired his personal assistant at SpaceX. Um, and you start to wonder, like, is this, um, you know, does he lack empathy? Like, you know, is there something wrong with him? What's wrong with him <laughs> in a way? Um, I, I sent some feedback to my friend um, uh, Tina, who borrowed me, loaned me her book, and um, she replied back, um, reminding me <clears throat> that he scored quite high on autistic uh, on the autistic scale, which could explain his uh, lack of empathy in personal relationships and his ability to kind of move forward, you know, um, without much. Um, you know, caring about the damage that he may be causing in the people. Um, so the best part of the book is probably for the geek inside <laughs> all of us. And it, 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 it's about his um, magnificent grasp of technical concepts, uh, not just technology, but down to the basic physics level, which is mentioned throughout the book. Um, there wasn't any direct comparison uh, made by the author of this book, but I would say that it does really seem that Tesla, sorry, Elon Musk is the closest thing we have to a Nikola Tesla. Perhaps you could also compare him to, um, to uh, not Einstein, um, the inventor of the uh, light bulb, Thomas Edison. Because part of what you could see he doing is doing iterations of products over time. And by doing these iterations, the products um, develop rapidly. In software development, um, some of you may be aware of um, this concept called uh, RAD, uh, Rapid Application Development. Um, and it's a way of just, uh, you know, 
I don't know the details of it anyway, but it just sounds to me like that's the approach that he's using uh, based on what I remember from my computer science classes 20 years ago. Anyway, so the book is Elon Musk um, by Ashley Vance. Uh, it's been out for a while. A friend of mine, uh, a student of mine in China actually informed me about it. The book was published by uh, a Random House Penguin in 2015. And of course, there's a lot that Elon Musk has done since then. Uh, one of the most recent things, if you are following his career quite closely, is that you'll know Elon Musk, in fact, has um, is in the process of using Tesla to buy uh, Solar City, and that's a very interesting um, that, that is a very interesting business move because he's in fact consolidating the uh, renewable energy uh, business, uh, the solar as well as the battery technology that they've developed, uh, the storage technology in Tesla, into one company. And um, it's going to be really an interesting ride. I have said this before, and I think I can go on the record now and tell you that Elon Musk uh, is on track to probably become the richest person uh, on the planet uh, in the next uh, 20 years or so, if everything, all the plans that he has, he pulls off and the value of the... <clears throat> stocks keep appreciating, especially if um, Tesla releases its uh, $35,000 um, passenger car. I think it's called the Model 3. Um, and the sales can reach 500,000 units uh, per year. That's going to be an incredible amount of wealth to the company and, of course, to him personally. It would be interesting to see what he's doing with uh, SpaceX um, and at what point um, they will launch the Mars missions. I think the first goal from reading the book was obviously that they want to start sending out people in a Dragon space capsule uh, to the International Space Station. And then um, probably within the next couple of years, they will send a um, uh, some kind of robot to Mars using uh, SpaceX. And then once they've successfully completed that, maybe drop off some... Um, things that people can use when they actually do send people. Um, they'll need some provisions, they'll need some food, they'll need some things to plant, they'll need some things to build structures with um, and to create um, some atmosphere um, and some oxygen, of course, to breathe. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Um, just personally as well, I can... Uh, I, I wonder if he's going to waste his time by getting married again. I mean, somebody as busy as this guy, Elon Musk, um, he just should be listening to Tom Likas. If you don't know who that is, please go and have a look at blowmeuptom.com. It's my favorite radio show. And I thought I'd just give uh, Tom Likas and uh, Paul in Australia, Jacob in Shanghai, Frank in Los Angeles, uh, Lauren in, uh, in New York, and Liz, everybody else, a uh, shout-out. Sure, hope you guys... Uh, We'll all go and read this book about the most famous South African um, to come out of this part of the world uh, in the last 20 years after Mandela. Well, let just say the most significant because he's probably going to do more to change the world than Mandela did. And you can quote me on that.